All right, so phase one of a physical altercation would be standing, uh, strike distance striking phase. Phase two would be clinch phase, where things could either go to the ground or uh, remain standing, where effective strikes could be um, executed. Well, there's a component where if the individual is not armed, but maybe they're reaching for our vest or reaching for our gun or reaching for something, rather than waiting and addressing this, uh, this particular hand, once it is grabbed, as the grab attempt happens, we can induce a movement um, commonly referred to as an arm drag. So as the attacker reaches for um, that limb, before he gets contact, we're gonna address the arm by breaking the, breaking the momentum, if you will. So he reaches, we're gonna break the momentum here and address it. With the hand staying high and close to our chin, we know that we're potentially vulnerable to a, you know, a follow-up shot on the right-hand side. So as we keep our hand in in this position, what we want to do is duck our head a little bit, and then we're going to hit the arm drag. So as we grab onto where the tricep meets the deltoid, we want to pull the individual's body on a 45-degree angle. So all together, the attacker makes motion. We want to turn and pull in this position here. So as we pull and step, what we're essentially doing is redirecting him. So if he's on the, he's the train on the tracks, we're getting off of the train tracks just a little bit. All right, so once again, he reaches, hands are up, we block. As we get under, we're gonna step, and then now we're in a position to either take his back or simply just disengage, right? But we've avoided that grab, which could be a, a bone of contention. What's important with this technique is when the grab happens, if he comes forward, and we try to arm drag here, we could get fouled up by his own arm, all right? So as we get fouled up, this is what would introduce into what's referred to as the 50-50 position. So he would essentially be in a position of dominance where he has an underhook on the left-hand side. So my right, his left. And again, being aware of this position, we wanna then nullify that underhook by taking our own. So we, we create a neutral position, what's referred to as 50-50. So I've got an underhook, he's got an underhook. The idea with this though is what's important is you notice my head, we're gonna place it into the net, all right? So why this is important is if he has a tool or a weapon of some sort and he starts to reach for that in this position here, we can address this particular uh, concern right now. But if our head is up and around, similar to what you see in, in you know common sport, uh, martial arts, I don't necessarily know what he's doing with his hand right now. So what I'm encouraging is we place our head into his neck, gives us a little bit more pressure on him, but we can also more importantly address what he's doing with his hand. Say he's got a gun or a knife or something, he starts to feed in that. Well now this is the thing that we need to address. All right, so we can get our head on the inside, get a good grip on that hand, figure out what it is that he's um, trying to dig in for, and we're safe. In terms of being safe, we're in a good position of balance. We can address this hand and then look at taking them down and get into a more uh, advantageous fighting position. All right, so the arm drag can lead into the 50-50 position. At any point, we can apply combative strikes, high line or low line to help soften up the target, to help open up openings for ourselves. All right, so once again, the attacker reaches left or right handed, it doesn't matter, he grabs for something. Before he establishes the grip, this is where we want to hit that arm drag. So he reaches, arm drag, we're going to pull and step. Now, if this is where we need to be, we can apply those low line strikes that we talked about earlier. You know, whatever it might be, elbows, hammer fists, etc. Or we simply just disengage. In the event that we get fouled up, so we attempt to hit the arm drag, but he steps in. And then now we're in a position, what's referred to as 50-50. I want to compromise his underhook. So this is the position I want to be in. Drive our head into the neck, make it uncomfortable, put them off balance. If we have to get low to make that happen, then that's what we're going to do from this position. If he starts to dig in for something with his right hand, we address it, take the underhook, and then now we're in a position trapping the elbow, ideally be into the outside, and then we can take him down. All right. So once again, 50-50 position, we're here, and remember, Head placement is really important. And then at any point we can strike. So he starts to reach for something, boom, strike, strike, strike. Get into position, strike. Overwhelm him with our presence, elbows, hammer fists, palm strikes, whatever it might be. Questions? <laughs>